All right, guys, this week on episode 20, we've got Desktop Metal scooping up Envision Tech. We've got 3D printed bone implants, giant ship propellers, and more. So let's get right into it. Starting out, we've got publicly traded Desktop Metal has just purchased Envision Tech for $300 million in stock and cash. Now, Desktop Metal says that Envision Tech has one of the strongest intellectual property portfolios in the area-wide photopolymer 3D printing market, counting over 140 issued and pending patents, which Desktop Metal believes includes blocking intellectual property. It also mentions that they have over 5,000 customers, 1,000 of which are using it for dental end-use parts. The company counts Cartier, Ford, Hasbro, and others among its customers. And they mentioned that Envision Tech has a broad library of over 190 materials featuring photopolymer resins with material properties in line with or exceeding those of thermoplastics and multiple FDA listed 510K cleared resins for the manufacturing of medical devices. It also states that this will expand and complement Desktop Metal's channel. Desktop Metal CEO Rick Fulop said, I'm thrilled to partner with Al and the Envision Tech team to bring significant growth to the additive market. Envision Tech is a true pioneer and responsible for many of the leading technologies widely used today to produce end use photopolymer parts through additive manufacturing. Envision Tech CEO Al Sablani said, I am excited and honored to partner with Rick and the Desktop Metal team to deliver end use parts in both metal and polymers as we implement Rick's vision on the future of additive manufacturing 2.0. Bringing the two companies together will deliver a global footprint of customers that can cross benefit from our combined technology platforms. So it's worth mentioning that Desktop Metal clearly believes that bioprinting, scaling up, and polymer 3D printing are exciting things for its stock price. Things like patents definitely won't hurt, and buying Envision Tech's heritage, name, and most of all, revenue also does a lot to strengthen their success in maintaining momentum. Desktop Metal's current valuation is in the $4 billion range. Next, we've got Centavia expanding rocket 3D printing with two new M4K4 metal 3D printers. The printers it has acquired are no ordinary metal 3D printing systems, but the M4K4 machines from AMCM in Germany. The 3D printers are modified versions of the EOS M404 systems, more than double the height of the original EOS machines. Now, all of this has been helped a lot by investments from Japan's Sumitomo Corporation, which most recently infused Centavia with further funds in August of 2020. The investment definitely aided in the company's decision to purchase two more machines from AMCM. A subsidiary of EOS, AMCM actually develops custom 3D printers when standard systems aren't suitable for their application. Now, the industry-proven M400 has a build volume of 450 millimeters cubed, but the M4K has a 450 by 450 by 1000 millimeters. That's over a meter in height on a metal 3D printer. Now, the M400 and M4K are available in single kilowatt lasers or quad kilowatt lasers. But the M4K4 was designed specifically due to the demand for commercial space launch businesses wishing to 3D print thrust chamber assemblies. The system is able to produce the entire assemblies as a single unit, which includes the optimized regenerative cooling passages. This in turn, of course, saves time and costs associated with manufacturing the entire assemblies. Next, we've got Naval Group has 3D printed a one-ton ship propeller for the French Navy. The company used its own specially developed DED-based process for the job, which it calls metal wire fusion. How appropriate. Sporting a 2.5 meter span and five individual 200 kilogram blades, the propeller is reportedly the largest thruster of its kind to be 3D printed, and the first to be manufactured using Naval Group's own process. Now, while the 3D printing of a propeller is a major accomplishment, it's just the first step in a whole new development phase being undertaken by Naval Group. Running off the back of this successful project, the company is set to focus on redesigning other maritime components that could benefit from 3D printing. Now, along with the weight savings and the significant reductions in lead times, redesigning parts for 3D printing can increase energy and thrust efficiencies, and even the acoustic discretion of a component during stealth operations. Furthermore, the DED-based technologies like metal wire fusion lend themselves quite well to part repair, alleviating further costs and downtime in the wake of destructive accidents. 
As Naval Group clearly understands, 3D printing has excellent potential in the maritime sector, both technologically and logistically. By the way, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It helps us out on the algorithm and it helps more people find these videos. Next, we have Delft researchers 3D print biodegradable bone implants using porous iron. A team of engineers at the Delft University of Technology have used extrusion-based 3D printing to fabricate temporary bone implants made from porous iron. Much like magnesium and zinc, porous iron is biodegradable, meaning it has great potential as temporary bone substitute that serves to degrade as new bone regrows in its place. By reabsorbing into the body, temporary implants alleviate the risk of long-term inflammation, which is typically associated with permanent bone implants made of metals such as titanium. Now, while titanium is largely regarded as the go-to bone implant metal, additive manufacturing researchers are constantly proving the suitability of other materials for the application. Late last year, scientists from the Skolkovo Institute of Science and Technology developed a novel method of 3D printing personalized bone implants made of ceramic. Much like the Delft implants, the Skolkovo implants featured large pores, enabling them to better fuse with organic tissue. Next, we've got LNT Construction completes India's first 3D printed two-story building in 106 hours. Following the 3D printing of a one-story house back in November of 2019, India's largest construction company, Larson and Tobro Construction, has now completed the country's first 3D printed two-story building. The building was fabricated using a large format concrete printer supplied by OEM COBOD and is made up of locally sourced 3D printable concrete mix developed by LNT's own in-house team. India is currently striving to build 60 million houses as part of the Housing for All by 2022 program. LNT has stated that it expects the recent 3D printed building to pave the way for further work, providing real housing for the country's citizens. The company also strongly believes that additive manufacturing will result in higher throughput construction, all while improving the build quality of residential properties throughout the region. Crazy stuff, very good. Brings us right along to the question of the week, and that is, what questions do you have about carbon fiber nylon? We've gotten so many responses in our carbon fiber nylon video that we're doing a Q&A video very soon. So get your questions in today down below in the comments or head over to those videos and leave a comment over there. Here at Vision Miner, we specialize in functional 3D printing, especially high performance plastics like Peak and Ultim and CF Nylon. So if you're interested in using these types of plastics and 3D printing in your business, we've got the tools, the machines, the materials, and the know-how to get you going. So feel free to reach out. We can help you make the right choice for whatever it is you're doing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and we'll see you on the next video.